Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I hope you've had a fabulous week and are ready for this weekend. Today's video is going to be all about shoes, but not just any shoes, the luxury shoes that I recommend for autumn winter time with trends such as clogs, crocs. <laughs> yes, crocs are a thing, okay? It's, it's crazy, I know, but they are a thing, a trend which people are actually following, but anyways, moving on from the Crocs. Metallic boots and slouchy will probably be saving those trendy shoes for a completely separate video. I will leave all my recommendations in the box down below. Before we dive into the first shoe, if you could hit the like button and make sure you subscribe so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Thursday, why was I gonna say Thursday? Saturday, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Jumping straight into my first shoe slash boot. Is it a shoe boot? Boot. <laughs> now, if you guys have been here for a while, then you know what I'm gonna say my first shoe is because I just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. <laughs> This is my first recommendation. Okay, guys, this is the best money I've ever spent on any shoe because I've worn this so much and it's very, very versatile. Now, highly recommended for the fall and winter, even though you could wear it in the summer, spring, you know, it's not a shoe that you're limited to a season. Of course, you've got your lovely chunky sole, which I've got one of the first pairs that were made, which means these were handmade and these feel a lot heavier. Quote, quote, okay, that's what the guy in Prada told me when I went to go and see another pair. Um, the new ones are much lighter than these ones, which is great for you guys. They are great with skirts, jeans, you know, shorts. You can wear these with pretty much anything, depending on what your style is like. They're just a great all-rounder. The only downfall to the boots, if you are someone who doesn't like scuffs and stuff like that, then it's this. Because of the chunkiness of the boot, you are more than likely probably going to scuff the insides of the shoe. But that's not a big deal, right? It's the inside. Another pick, which was actually in a video I done quite a while ago in my trends that I will not be following video. If you don't want the whole shoelace thing and you want something more sleek, then a great option to go for is the Bottega Veneta tire boot. I've grown a strong liking into these boots. This is definitely a social media thing. The second pair of shoes are shoes that I don't actually have. And the only pair that I do have are these snake skin boots that I would highly recommend you do not waste your money on <laughs> the way that I did. Knee-high boots. You can never go wrong with a pair of knee-high boots. But the ones that I recommend aren't these. So let's put these down. <laughs> they are the Hermes Story Boots, which I have a personal strong liking towards. If you want a block heel, something that you'll be able to wear throughout the day, then these are perfect. They're very, very sleek, very, very minimal as well. And just, oh, you know me, that clasp on anything, great. <laughs> Another choice that I have for you guys is the Christian Louboutin Eloise boot. You've got the chunky boot with the Hermes story boot, but then you have the option of going more sexier and sleek with the thinner heel. And these are absolutely gorgeous. You can get them in suede and leather. I love the ones in leather. The only issue is, and I do need to try them on because I did want to get a pair last winter. I didn't because they were sold out. So I'm thinking probably this winter, maybe, maybe. I need to try them on first because my calves are not little skinny ones. <laughs> so I have to be very careful whenever I buy boots because if I get a boot that fits me perfectly, then I'm not gonna be able to wear a lot with it. If you did want a boot that had no heel at all, then one that I would highly recommend that is knee high are the Prada tanned knee high boots. Oh, that color is just sublime. Blime. I think they're such beautiful boots. I shy away from boots without a heel. These are definitely one that I really, really like. Similar to the jumping boots from Hermes again. There's something about the color of the Prada boots that really, really captures my heart. Moving on to trainers because let's be real, no wardrobe is complete without a couple of pairs of trainers here or there, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you can't go through life without trainers. It's just impossible, like absolutely ridiculous. So the shoes that I decided to go for are Alexander McQueen oversized low top sneakers. Now these, when, when it comes to versatility and being able to get costs per wear, even though I haven't really worn mine a lot, I, I mean, a little bit. <laughs> I tend to wear my Balenciaga triple S's a lot more. I think maybe I'm trying to get as much wear as I can before I feel sick of them again. Perfect with skirts, with jeans, with trousers. Honestly, these shoes you can wear and rock with anything. They just look so, so good. And one thing, can I just say, that I really, really like is you don't get any creases in the front of the toe. Like, I mean, how old are these shoes? And look how new they look. They look so but that's because I do tend to look after my shoes in general so yeah that's probably why they look brand new but um yeah they are genuinely shoes that will have you covered in all aspects my second has to be the Chanel trainers which hey I finally started wearing these guys <laughs> Um, look, evidence. So this isn't quite a shoe that I would wear if I wanted to look smart casual. Nonetheless, they are both shoes that I recommend. On the cheaper side of things is the New Balance trainer. Now this is a trend at the moment. Everyone's going crazy for New Balances. The neutral colors that they come in, I just mwah, 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 mwah. So I'm probably gonna order a pair of those. They have beautiful neutral colors and the gray in particular is absolutely gorgeous before we move on to the next shoe that i recommend splurging on we are going to take a quick break and look at outfit of the day and today i am wearing a really pretty old season dress from an other stories when i bought it i was much heavier than i am now and i've lost quite a bit of weight so it's a little bit looser on me but i still like the fit of it i think it's so so pretty i've paired that with my christian dior espadrilles and my hermes bird in, in the color blue because blue goes so well with this dress. Moving on to shoe number four that I would highly recommend are the beautiful ankle boots. My first pair of ankle boots that I ever bought because you know we were still in a process of self-discovery <laughs> were these ankle boots from Mango and as you can see guys I have literally worn them to death. <laughs> I then upgraded those boots and went on to Hermes and upgraded to the Saint Germain boots. Now, I've raved about these a lot. I think they are very, very comfortable. They have a higher heel than my mango ones, but they're not like ridiculously higher, you know? Like, let me show you from here. This side is probably better. From this angle there. So they're just a little bit higher, but they are so comfortable. Now with these boots, I did have to go half a size up because the size 38, if I did want to wear thick socks with them, then they wouldn't have fit properly. They were too much of a perfect fit. And I do tend to find that I always have to size up half a size with Hermes in general, even with the Oran sandals. I can wear them with thick socks, I can wear them with tights, and I don't have any issue in doing so. Perfect for your autumn, winter months. You can wear them with skirts, you can wear them with dresses, you could wear them with jeans. Just like the knee-high boots, if you didn't want the whole chunky heel and you wanted something more sexy, then you have the Saint Laurent Lexi boot. Again, very, very sleek and classic. Jimmy Choo also have a really, really pretty suede pair that are in more of a beigey, nudey color, but they have a chunky heel with a more pointed toe. Christian Louboutin have their own versions. You know, your possibilities are endless. You don't have to pick the ones that I'm picking, but they're just suggestions that I'm throwing out there. My very last pick of shoes, perfect for your autumn winter months, which I don't actually have a pair of. I have the mules, but I don't have the shoes, the loafers. Oh, the loafers. I just told you what my last pair of shoes are. <laughs> They're loafers. And a good pair of loafers, you could style in, in, in quite a few ways. My favorite has to be with a pair of denim jeans and a really nice oversized blazer. My mom jeans, to be precise. They just go with anything and everything. You could also put on a pair of tailored pants. You can make it really really edgy and cool, put on a pair of white socks, got that Michael Jackson-esque thing going on. Because you want a more closed shoe if it is raining, you don't want something that's too exposing of the foot. Now the first recommendation that I would make in terms of style and which brand I would go for are definitely the Gucci Brixton loafers because I've got the mules and I've worn the mules for so so long, I've had them for ages. I love those mules and it's only fair, right? I mean. <laughs> 
Love the loafers, classic. You've got the horse bit at the front. There's nothing that screams out Gucci. It's just a standard, plain loafer. Another recommendation that I have are the Destin loafers by Hermes. These are gorgeous. I love the simplicity. They have that iconic Hermes clasp on them and they come in leather, just normal leather or suede. So you can choose which one you love. I really like the suede. You have another loafer which has the H buckle on the front of the shoe, but I find, and this is crazy for me to say, but I'm actually staring away from things with like the branding on it. So that big H, I don't see myself loving down the line. My H belts I very, very seldom wear because I just, yeah, I, I'm going through a phase at the moment. That's why I picked the Destin loafer as opposed to the Paris loafer, but I think they're both stunning shoes. Of course, you don't have to splurge on the more expensive pieces. You can start off with cheaper pieces, i.e. like me. <laughs> when I did buy these just to get a feel if you would like the items that I've mentioned and that concludes today's video guys thank you so so much for watching I hope you have a beautiful beautiful weekend and a beautiful week don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in next week's video take care bye